What is up guys? <clears throat> Doe here. And I'm gonna bring you this really quick tutorial, hopefully I can get it done real quick, of this grid overlay scan thingy. Take a look. Well, I've only been on for like now if you could see that, let's take off the color correction. Here's what happens. I have two grids here. I uh, Yep. I have two grids and one is this blue one that just it sweeps across and one is a white one. Actually, I'm going to adjust one real quick. Take the light. No, I can't do that, never mind. What if I'm just gonna teach you guys how to do this? So let's delete that, that, and that. So I have my Twixter clip and we are going to look at where I twixter it. So here is the first keyframe. I'm going to add my grid from this one. So to make a grid, go to layer new solid 1280 by 720. It's all cool. I'm going to show you the quick way, non-motion tracked way of how to do this. Okay, so type in grid, generate grid. And now we're going to have this grid pop up with enhanced sliders and we're done. Now go to effects and presets, type in corner pin, drag that on. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to actually keyframe the opacity. Oh, by the way, make it a 3D layer. And we're going to go to the next keyframe. So you're obviously going to go from 100 to your slow mode speed, which I have a 10. So I'm going to start at the opacity, put it down to 0, go to the next keyframe, bring it up to 100, kind of make a fade in, and go to corner pin. And here's where stuff goes down. Since it's twixted, I didn't do the best job because mine's at 10. Let's say you put it at 5, you won't really have much of a problem. But I'm going to tell you the faults before I go on. I have a two second, this is two seconds. You're gonna want to make it one second or lower, uh, lower, less, <clears throat> so that the people on YouTube can't see the faults, because you'll be able to see the faults when I make this. So, yeah, just heads up. So, if you're gonna be stupid and make a two second one like me, then copy what I'm doing with the corner pen. And wait one second, go back. This corner pin, we're going to adjust to right here, right here, and I can't see what I'm doing because the opacity is at zero, so I will keyframe the opacity later. Um, where is it? Oh my god! I can't find my upper left. There it is. Keyframe right there. Spread this out. Keyframe that right there. Spread this one out. Now, a couple problems with this already. It seems too high. So we can just bring it down a little. Stretch that out. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty good. Now, we're going to go forward a little. And now we're just gonna readjust. So go back to our corner pin and just adjust it according to where you had the other thing parts before. Um yeah, so let's keep going. Excuse me for singing my little wine. Oh, it's not too good. I messed up, so I'm going to go to corner pin and pin. bring this back across. Okay, I fixed it. But you see, this is way too long. And so, what I'm doing right now is Pretty self-explanatory. I'm just adjusting 
and this is not even close to perfect but for tutorial purposes you could say I'm doing this relatively quickly and yeah this is when it stops right before the book or the ferret comes back up so make this last keyframe right here okay and now the, we're going to do opacity fade this out again so make another keyframe for the opacity go maybe three frames and then bring back to zero okay so after all that trouble we got the grid so here's what uh, oh yeah I forgot to opacity fade it in mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's my keyframe start for my tweak store? Where's my tweak store? Okay, that's where it starts. Make that zero. Next frame's at 100. Okay, so we're all good. Now what we're going to do, I think we should first off duplicate this entire solid. And then, second, we're going to go look up CC light sweep. And then drag on to the top one. Now, what we are going to do is bring. Let me solo this real quick. Um, how do we want this? Oh, hold up. To do what I did. You're gonna want to put it at cut out, and then we're gonna put it at ninety degrees ish. So we're gonna. Whoosh. And for this cut, I'm gonna make it red. Red is a good color. Hold up. So edge thickness. I want to make the edge thickness a little bigger. Sweep intensity. I want to make it a little brighter. Width. I don't want to make it that wide. I want to bring the width down to 20-ish. And this should be good. So now when we unsolo this. I'm going to find the first keyframe for my tweak store. We're going to go to that one. Bring this back up. Keyframe the center. Go all the way to the end of your tweak store. And then bring this down. And we're done. So now what you got is what I made. Let's run, run preview this real quick. I've only been on for like 10 minutes. Now, it's not bad. I'm going to go here, toggle switches. I'm going to put this at overlay. It just makes it look a little better in my opinion. And then I'm going to go to the top one. I'm going to put it to add. Actually, no, because there's a lot of red on the screen right now. Yeah, never mind, I'm just gonna control Z that. Looks fine the way it is. Actually, no, it doesn't. I don't like the color. Okay, do you like the color? Because I don't, because it's too much red. But yellow, that's just, ugh, blue. Okay, so that's a tutorial on the grid, on the overlay. Uh, not the best because, and let me tell you why again. The Twixter is like two seconds long, so you can see all the faults, and uh, I didn't motion track it because it would be really that would be really time consuming, and I wanted to make a really quick tutorial. Uh, I'm going to try to muscle out one more tutorial, which would be three tutorials in one day for a MLK Day special. So I hope you enjoyed your MLK day, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment, and uh, also tell me what tutorial I should do next, because I don't know what I'm going to do next. Um, this has been Doe, and I'm out. Bye-bye.